It is 8.30 in the morning. We have been rolling for about two hours coming from Tupelo to Branson, Missouri. And I've decided we're gonna stop at eight different liquor stores. I've got eight of them plugged into the GPS here all throughout Arkansas. Why is this one Kansas? But this one is not Arkansas. America explain. So right now we're on 40, just coming out of Memphis, headed west. And they're all just pretty close to the interstate. We're not gonna stray too far off. We do have about seven hours to drive today. And that's with all of the stops, not including the time you spend in the stores. Of course, I didn't really realize when I was plotting this trip that this is actually gonna take us through the countryside and off the interstate, which I prefer. Like, I like this view a lot better than the interstate. I do love the efficiency of it but we're actually going to have a chance to hit some small town liquor stores and i just passed one so i did a quick u-turn to go back to county line liquors this was not even on our list i don't know how many more of these we'll actually be able to go to but it's kind of cool to look at one of these you know really small out of the way just kind of tiny little liquor stores in the middle of nowhere and see what their selection looks like so first one county line liquors Hey, how are you? So at a place like this, y'all, do you just not sell a lot of bourbon or like what kind of things do you sell here? So you just carry the basics, little Jack Daniels, little Jim Beam, that kind of stuff. All right, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that was a dud. She said they just sell low end stuff. So a little fireball and stuff like they really didn't even have any bourbon in there. Um, you know, if you want a Jack Daniels, I know not bourbon. Or if you want a little bitty bottle of Jim Beam, like they didn't even have a 750 milliliter of Jim Beam. So, you know, cool to stop and see, but definitely not the type of place we are looking for. Okay, plan stop number one is Elevated Spirits here. I have no no idea what town we're in. Somewhere in Arkansas, Elevated Spirits. Hey, how's it going? Okay, I understand, no problem. Just always cool to see the selection, even if I can't buy it. So if you bought it in another state, you're just not legally allowed to sell it? So, so you're just collecting those or you drink them yourself? I do, but I won't drink a bottle until I find a second. I understand that, I understand that. It must be in a new store. Okay. We just don't don't get a ton. I understand that. How does it work in Arkansas? Is it just based on like you just got to sell enough Fireball before they'll send you a Blanton's kind exactly. of thing? Yep. And there's only only so many bottles allocated to the state. Yeah. Those numbers are really elevated to even get it. Okay. And once you get on the allocation list, then you're on. But if you just say Blanton's, for instance, they come in here. They offer me a, a bottle of lands I made the allocation. If I turn it down, then it goes to another store. Right. If I turn it down two times, then they won't offer it to me. Interesting. So you kind of have to take, although don't have trouble like selling blends, right? Well, and, and any of the allocations. Though. Well, it's not all about allocation, though. What's your selection look like? I mean, I see a peer list sitting over there. McKenna 10, Angel's yeah, Envy. We usually will get two to the four bottles of McKenna 10 a month since Angel's Envy came off the allocation list. We've got to really get it pretty much any time. Peer list, we can get pretty much any time. No charter is terribly hard. I saw it literally everywhere in Tupelo. Like every store I went into had a ton of old charter. I've never tried it. I was, is that one I should, you haven't tried it either? We usually get one case a month and we have people that jump on it as soon as So apparently it's good. People want it that bad. So I should have bought it. Like ancient age, you cannot get ancient age. Ancient, ancient age is where it's at though. Like that's a good bottle. A little uh, better than ancient to me, or a good bit better. I don't know that I've ever had that. We sell a lot of that. Ancient Age, prefer I've never even seen that bottle. We'll have to take one of those for sure. Let's see, what else have we got here? And so you've got Old Charter right now, but we're gonna take one of those too. You, so you sold me on that. I thought I'd heard of it. I think people have asked about it, but I'd never tried it. We're gonna have to grab that one. $17 Evan Williams bottle and bond. I don't see Evan Green Label a whole lot anymore either. Did The Green Label's discontinued? Super rare now, huh? Little Elijah Craig barrel proof. What do we got? A123. I have like six of those open on my bar at home and they just never get finished. Yeah, that. now I like the proof, but that one definitely drinks its proof. Now, what is this rock town over here? That seems like, is it good? I'm gonna be honest with you, the only one I have tried is the cash strength and it is very good. That one's really good? It is pricey. What's what's the price on it? $68.50. Okay. That's not bad for a cash drink. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do that one just because I, I need to try something like local Arkansas. I definitely can't get back home. They don't use rapid aging in this in any way, do they? It's a good selection, man. Single barrel. Ooh, let's look at the we always have to look at these four rows of single barrels. Do you ever do any store picks? I do not have the money. That would mess me up on 
on my regular order. Makes you know? sense. Makes sense. Hopefully in the future. And it's not a corporate owned store. I'm just, I'm so long. It's a nice store. I stopped at the one down the street about 15 miles and yeah. all they sell is Jack Daniels and Fireball. Pretty much it. That's that's their selection. And I think it was like 375 milliliters of those. Any other gems here you think, what, same old Moses? What in the world? That brand ambassador came in and did a, a tasting. speak for it today. Gotcha. I think we've got enough few gems here, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck. Yeah, you. it was nice to meet y'all. So that was a cool place, man. Nice folks, cool store. Pretty good selection, like for a small store in the middle of nowhere. We bought a couple of reasonably priced gems, which is always nice to have. I like to try to find, you know, <laughs> There's no Sid's drinking $100 whiskey when you find $30 whiskey that's just as good. So I'm hoping some of these bottles we picked up here, especially that local Arkansas or that old charter, if those turn out to be great, that's gonna be fantastic. So excited about those. But if you would, these bourbon hunting videos are super freaking expensive. Like a bunch of y'all are asking for more and more of these. They cost a lot of money to make because we've got hotel rooms and all the gas. And then obviously we're buying a bunch of freaking bottles. So do me a favor, hit that like button for me if you would. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Maybe share these out if you like these videos. We need to try to get the viewership on these about 10X. Like, no joke. We gotta start getting 50, 60, 100,000 views on these if they're gonna actually start paying for themselves. And then I'm gonna have to buy a van and we may have to get a hotel sponsor. We'll figure all that out. But just help me out by hitting that like button if you would. And let's get on to the next liquor store. So I'm in wine. Win? W-Y-N-N-E, Arkansas. Don't know if that's, I guess that's why. We'll go with win. We'll go with win. Winnie, maybe, I, who the hell knows. But GPS has got me going through a neighborhood here to get to this liquor store. So the last one we just went to was right outside of Win. Really, we're just a few miles away. Now we're going into some sort of neighborhood environment here. I don't, I don't know, the neighborhood friendly liquor store, I guess. Not a lot of expectations for this one, but Let's see, looks like there's a little bit of a town up here or something. City Liquor in Winnie, Arkansas. Wine, Win, Arkansas. This one looks like it's been here for a long time, so high expectations here now. Expectations have grown. Been here for a minute. Hey, how are you? Any hidden gems here I should know about? Anything that I should really? Yeah. He's in the back. He knows all about this Bottle of Buffalo Trace. Got the Glorifier. C922, Elijah Craig. Oh, some interesting stuff over there. Hey, how are you? No, 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 no. My name's TJ. I have a little YouTube channel where we just do bourbon hunting videos. So I just, oh. I'm passing through our, there's police right yeah, there. Were like, you expecting the police? Yeah, I was expecting. Okay. That. I was just talking to her about bourbon, man. You take care of business, okay. no problem. Go ahead, man. Video. Okay. Make sure you got a good angle. <laughs> I've seen some of your TikToks. You seen some yeah, of them? TJ, oh, yeah. nice to meet you. You want to get on TikTok? We're doing a little better on YouTube these days than TikTok. Right here. Here. All you got to do is say something funny, and I'll make you semi-famous just this much. <laughs> it's, it's 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 funny because anytime you even somebody who's funny if you just say say something funny it's always just like flat okay i got it okay you can pan around and see from our the, the size of the liquor store how the expansion that we're currently doing right now we're up to 400 square feet moving forward we hope to get to 600 square feet come by win arkansas city liquor and shop with us there you go so that one collapsed we're in the middle of we're going to remodel it but, okay so we put up a temporary wall before we get over there i got you oh granddad bonded right there well that's cool Oh, he's dealing with a little police business in there, so I didn't want to interrupt all of that. Nice folks. I didn't have the microphone on at the start of that. I hope this thing's picking up good audio when I do that, because it was cool. A couple of nice bottles. They had Buffalo Trace, a little bit of a markup, but not too bad. They had that cool old granddad lamp that I would love to have. That would be awesome. A few diesel bottles. That's probably, I think that's pretty close to MSRP on the Kentucky Isle over there, right at $300. It's the cheapest I've seen it, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I just can't freaking do it. A couple of nice bottles, Elijah Craig. 18 sitting over there for 250 as well what else was there I, I was just trying to look it was over there where he was talking to the police and i didn't want to i didn't want to interrupt their business so that kind of put a little bit of a damper on it at least talking a little bit of crap i mean we could hang out but we still got like five hours 
and a whole bunch of stops. So there's no bottles in there that are worth sitting around to negotiate too hard on. So we'll move on to the next one. Next one's a good ways away. We got about two, two and a half hours before we get to the next town where we're gonna stop. So I'll catch up with y'all then. Well, scratch that. I don't know what kind of information it was trying to convey to me, but we're here like two miles down the road at Highway 64 Liquors. Might as well give them a try. I think maybe it was trying to tell me how much progress we had made thus far, but don't know. Hey, how are you? Ah, not too bad. Got some goodies on the table right here. Hey, my name's TJ. Nice to meet you. I have a little YouTube channel where we just film bourbon hunting videos. So I'm just driving cross country, stopping at different liquor stores, checking out their bourbon selection. It's all right if I film? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Where's your bourbon at? It's right here? Yeah. Okay. I have some better tools and some special bourbon back in my office. Bourbon and Tennessee. Got the ancient age big boys down there. See, all these are the blue tops. That metal top, that's what we were talking about in the last video. The metal top is the new early times. Yeah, Sazerac Dow was Brown Foreman. Yeah, we, yesterday I was at a store and we ended up buying one that was a Brown Foreman. So anytime we see them, because the, the Brown Foreman ones are a little bit better. So anytime I see one, I grab it just to have a backup. Ooh, single barrel select right there. What's the proof? Do you know what the proof is on this single barrel? Okay, first time I've seen Uncle Nearest Rye. So you keep your allocated bottles in the back? I have some barrel proof. Here is a Knob Creek 120 proof single barrel. Oh. 120 proof, it's a single barrel. Yeah, barrel. I gotta have that one. How much you, what's your price on this one? 59. Yeah, I'll take that one for sure. I just bought the Knob Creek 9 in the last video. It'll be cool to have a cash strength as well to go with that. Man, got a whole box of stuff. It's like Christmas morning in here. What have we got here? Let's see. This is toasted barrel. Nice. What? What's your price on that? 78. Okay. The barrel proof, which A123? Yes. And Henry McKenna, 10 year single barrel. Blue run reflection. All these are seven full proof. Larsney barrel proof. Which batch? A122. Okay. And I have two batch. I have one more batch. I think it's 23. Gotcha. Private selection of Macros Mark. 10 year barrel proof of Redemption. Have you ever had that one? I uh, know. Okay. I don't know much about Redemption, right? Uh, red wine barrel, Basil okay. Hayden, Basil Hayden Toaster. That's what we got? Yes. <sighs> what's your what's your price on this guy here? I, I'm gonna pass on it, but I really want to know what it is. Ninety nine dollars. Okay, I, my audience will probably give me hell about that uh, one if it's good. Uh, the uh, Pritchard Hill, yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with the uh, Knob Creek there if that's all right. I appreciate you showing me though. Thank you. You hunt anything good in Arkansas? Uh, I mean, I've just started in Arkansas. I've been to like two or three shops. I bought a, uh, a couple of local Arkansas or one from a local Arkansas distillery at the shop uh, just right down the road. Oh, that's the uh, um, uh, Rock Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd never had that one, so I yeah, grabbed that. I'm yeah, excited it's about that. In Arkansas, okay. Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Do you like it? I, I don't carry that because they have a special customer base for that. Yeah, I get blank tons, I get Eagle Rare, but it's like every other Rare. one, one yeah. to bottle. I understand. Let me get a copy of that receipt. I think you got somebody in the drive in there. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So Knob Creek 9, nothing particularly fancy there. I mean, we haven't bought anything fancy so far in Arkansas, but I still think we scored some really nice bottles. Like you don't have to have something that's super highly desirable or really, really expensive to have good whiskey. All right, so we are in McCrory, Arkansas, population of about 1,700 people, and we have just pulled into Joyce's Liquor. Rough looking little store, but you never can tell. Never judge a liquor store you've never been in. So y'all just typically deal in like the basics. Y'all ever get anything allocated at all? Anything hard to find? Okay. What's the name of it? Porters, okay. I'll check that out, I appreciate it, thank you. All right, that one was a dud, but we did get a lead on another one. I need to make sure that that one is on the list and that we stop by there, because they own this one, but they've got one that's got a little more higher end stuff in it as well, so that's us, we're higher end. We're bougie whiskey drinkers. Let's go find some bougie whiskey. Porter's Liquors in Augusta, Arkansas. Population 2,200 folks. Looks like a really nice store. This was the one they were telling us about down the road, but it was already on my list. It was already the next one on my list and put the truck in park before you start stopping and talking like lord have mercy just started rolling forward and scared the bejesus out of me try not to do two or three things at once not a good idea but let's check out porter's liquors sherry and cognac cask finished doc swenson 
What's your price on the Eagle Rare, the Blanton's, and the Weller Special Reserve? Eagle Rare is $49.99, the Blanton's $99.49, and one? The Weller Special Reserve. This one is $21.49, and this one is $45.89. So that one's $21, and that one's $45. Yeah. Um, you price Lord? <laughs> I, I'll take the Eagle Rare, the Blanton's, and two of each of those. Yes, please. All right, so that is the first time I have ever seen Willer Special Reserve for $20. Like that, that is absolute best price I've ever seen on that in my entire life here at Porter's Liquors. Pretty good prices. Decent selection, a little markup on the Eagle Rare, but honestly, less than 50 bucks, that's still a buy all day long. I, that was the top of my price for a Blanton's, but it's right there at the top of my price and I just gave away like three bottles. So I need to replenish the supply of my extra, you know, Blanton's cash. And, and as I said before, like, I just seem to find Blanton's just about everywhere I freaking go. Now, normally I don't look this hard. Y'all watching these videos, y'all think I'm out hunting all the time. I don't spend this much effort unless we're shooting a video for it. So overall, blew some budget. Like, Lord, we're gonna have to start getting sponsors for these for sure. That went sideways real, real quick, but I've got a lifetime supply of Weller Special Reserve. Really at that price, I should have just bought the other two bottles because somebody will want them, but I don't want to be greedy. Like, leave them here. Somebody will enjoy those. They'll find them 21 bucks. They'll have a really great deal. But yeah, should have should have just bought them all. I'll probably probably end up gifting these or we'll we'll have a bunch of friends up while we're at the cabin here in Branson. We'll probably end up cracking one of these big boys and drinking it there. So Damascus Liquors looks like a new build. Looks like a nice place. A hell of a lot of people here. Now it is right after lunchtime on a Friday. So I guess folks around here are preparing for the weekend, but we're going to hit this place and we're going to have to find something to eat. It's about 1230 here. We've still got a long way to go to get to our destination, but I'm going to have to fuel myself up at some point after we get out of here. Let's see if anybody in here knows was a good place to eat. Tommy Bahama. Anything here I should be looking for, I guess is the question. If you're not from here, that's a bad thing because all of our allocated yeah. on the shelf. Gotcha, up, up top, up there. I saw I saw those up there. We did mark for sales just outright. Because okay. we only get so many bottles a year. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be in a bottle club. I understand. And we draw names to give Yeah, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's fair. I like that. That's nothing wrong with that. What's up, man? I told you wrong on the allocated bottles. Okay. You don't have to buy up yet. You, you just got to put your name, you just got to come yeah. out and put your name in. Yeah. Yeah, no we problem. Do it, but that's, it's, we get right in trouble for that, I guess. I understand. Yeah, I'm not yeah. definitely not trying to get in trouble. Yeah. So uh, that's, uh, makes sense. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. And then once a month, y'all just draw. Is that? Uh, twice, every two weeks. Some nice bottles up there. The chicken cock, I don't know if that's allocated or not. Expensive. It's really, yeah, I've seen a lot of it, but I just can't bring myself to pay that much money for it. It's fantastic. The chicken cock? Yeah, it's my number one. Probably. Like that one over there, that really expensive one. This one right over here. Just like which one? Yeah, show me, show me which one. So this one, yeah, I've got this bottle. Yeah. We're talking about that guy up there that's just nuts, yeah. 20 years, both of them are 20 years, I think. I'm not saying they're not worth it. Right. But I'm just saying I don't, I'm not gonna find out if they're worth it because I can't, I can't afford them. Right, I understand. Yeah. But like, we got pretty good selection. Nah, good selection. Prices are good too, man. What do you think about this rock tie? I bought one of these earlier at a different place and I don't know anything about them. I really don't either. I know that they sell quite a bit. There's certain ones do. I'd never see Old Charter where I'm from and I've seen it in every store around here and they, yeah. they say they people love it. They do. It used to be our one of our allocated. But okay. We're getting quite a bit of it in. Been putting a lot of it out lately, huh? Yeah. All good, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Overall, Damascus Liquor is a really nice store. Really friendly folks. Huge liquor selection, huge bourbon selection for a store out in the middle. I don't know if we're close to something, but I came through absolutely nothing and then this thing appeared. Forgot to ask them about freaking lunch, though. We're going to have to keep an eye out. It's starting to get that time. But just, we bought so many bottles, I had to have to be really tempted. They had a little markup, like the Weller and stuff was marked up just a little bit, but you even had to win the, the right to, to buy those. Not that I would have bought them after just buying these. So good store. I would support that if I lived around here. At least it's fair and they're not charging, you know, $150 for a Weller Special Reserve. I mean, it wasn't what I was looking for, but you know how long it's been since I've eaten? I don't, I don't know if I've ever eaten at a Western Sizzler. There's one in Opelika, there's one not far from the house. I think I've eaten there, but it had to have been 20 years. And I could go, like I am feeling a nice ribeye. Okay, I chickened out, change of plans. I did a little Googling and literally just right across the road, like a stone's throw hiding behind the Kentucky Fried Chicken was this little bistro that looked pretty good. Let's go give that a try. That's more what I'm looking for. So that's gonna be good. What's the best thing you've got? Yeah, the mixer, the bourbon burger, 
Yeah. What do you think about that ribeye? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Is it a good ribeye? Yeah. You do good on that ribeye? Yeah. I think I'll take that medium. Mm -hmm. I don't really need any sides. I'm supposed to be stuck. Vegetables are bad for you. Alright, just the ribeye? Just the ribeye. Medium. Right. Thank I'll you. Get it right out. You want the bread to come with it? Nope. All Appreciate right. it. Looks pretty good. So I'm trying to drop a few pounds, right? I don't mind being a big YouTuber, but I don't want to be the biggest YouTuber, if you know what I mean, at least by volume or by pound, by tonnage. Just decided to have a little meat. Stay away from the carbs. A good ribeye sounded really good. And I'm sure Western Sizzling makes a good steak. I'm sure they do. Probably saved me a bunch of money because this one was like $27. They did knock some stuff off because I wanted no sides. So all told, about 30 bucks with tip in and out of the door for a Diet Coke and a ribeye <sighs> you know hard to fuss about 30 dollars for a good ribeye when you just blow that on a bad bottle of whiskey all right this is blue water liquors in western grove arkansas population 384 but there must be some folks around here somewhere because it's a pretty big liquor store let's go check it out never heard of this wild parallel oh it's mgp another one of these guys can't wait to try that one Mega millions. Those are like two bucks these days. Give me three numbers for the next draw. Just random numbers. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. They had an okay selection for a small town store. You don't expect a lot out of those stores, but they had a few bottles that Ancient Age preferred, which I'd never seen until yesterday, and, and there it is again. All right, heck, it may have even been today. I think it was actually today was the first time I saw it. So kind of cool to see a, a town that small with a with an okay liquor store. Did pick up a lottery ticket. We got, uh, you know, three draws for $200 million. Taking the cash option should be about $70 million in my bank account after taxes so what are we doing like y'all let me know in the comments what are we doing with 70 million dollars what's the coolest bourbon thing we could do with 70 million dollars in cash now that the budget's kind of blown and we bought all this weller stuff that's when you typically find something great that just stretches that budget a little too far all right we're up close to missouri in harrison arkansas at the aptly named harrison liquor hey how are you i'm doing pretty good on almost the end of a long drive. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've just been doing bourbon hunting all the way through Arkansas today, through all the little back roads. I think you're like the eighth or ninth store I've stopped at today. Anything interesting, like, I, you know, obviously allocated stuff great, but like anything just kind of interesting that I don't have or haven't tried, really. We have Iron Wolf, Ammunition, Bear Fight, Buzzard Roost, Axe and Oak. Out of those, which one's the best? Axe and Oak and Buzzard Roost are my two favorites. Okay. Who makes those? That part I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Straight bourbon whiskey, barrel strength right there. Let's have a look at that. See what it tells us on the bottle. That is MGP whiskey. So that is distilled in Indiana. So MGP Midwest Grain Products, now known as Ross and Squibb, makes that bottle right there. If you're starting a label, what you'll do is you'll buy whiskey from somebody that makes it, and then, you know, maybe eventually you release your own. Some are just branding it and putting it out. Yeah. Same thing. So that one, all this of these are MGP. From Colorado Springs. Yeah, let me see that one. Grab that one for you. That's a rye. Actually, do you have a bourbon? I'm not too interested in a rye. But MGP's the biggest contract distiller out there. And you've had this one? Mm -hmm. I just wonder if that one's been rapid aged. Looks mighty dark. Have you ever tried 1776? Uh, the the Evan Williams 17 or like the, the oh James Pepper 1776. I have not. I have tried both of those for a hundred proof. It is very smooth. Okay, very smooth. I'll take that one. I haven't tried that one. If y'all get hard to find like allocated stuff, you just put it on the shelf. Do y'all keep them in the back for they loyal customers? Send, they never send us anything allocated ever. Ever? That sucks. For a too small of a store, That's all right. There's a lot of good affordable whiskey like that one right there, hopefully. Thank you. A decent selection of affordable, regularly available bourbons, nothing terribly hard to find. I've seen this James Pepper a few times. I'm a little iffy on it, but you know, if we're trying new stuff, let's try some new freaking stuff. I didn't even really look at it. This may be some source stuff from MGP, which I, I've got some great MGP bottles. No hate on MGP. Yeah, that's an MGP bottle. But I try not to buy too many MGP bottles that are um, from brands I haven't heard of because they gotta be low on the priority list of barrels. But you know, seeing that one enough, 
worth giving a try. All right, so pretty good trip overall. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different here in the future where we do a best worst list of all of these bottles we buy, but I wanted to quickly just recap the bottles we picked up on this hunting expedition. So first was James Pepper, 1776, $43 for that guy. Rocktown Single Reserve, so we picked up something a little local for 76 bucks. Old Charter for 25, which eh, may be a little much for that one. Um, Ancient Age Preferred was just $12 poured down the drain. Knob Creek 9 Single Barrel Reserve was 70 bucks. Weller Special Reserve was $25 or so for the little guys. 50 bucks for the for the big boy. You know, overall, uh, about $150 for a whole lot of Weller. Eagle Rare for 55 bucks or so. I mean, tax and all kind of included. A little much for it, but not a, not a bad price. Blanton's was $112 with tax. So total, we spent about $550 across Arkansas, which is crazy. Again, hit the like button on the video. Share this stuff out for me if you would. We still have one more day of this hunting trip where I'm going to be up in Springfield, Missouri and see what we find there. I'll see you in that one.